for a full look at the forecast. And for that, let's go to meteorologist Juan Acuna. All right, well, good Friday morning, everyone. You know, we've had a string of nice weather, but a lot of folks have been asking how our lake levels have been doing, especially with that rainfall that we had this past weekend and uh, mainly favoring the coastal regions. But there was some out into the watershed and the uh, lake levels are starting to respond positively for once in quite some time. You can see the uh, green arrows going up, indicating that the uh, lake levels are rising just a little bit, though. We're still under stage one water restrictions, but currently as of yesterday, these will update later on this morning. But as of yesterday, Lake Corpus Christi coming in at 45.4%. That is up from a month ago at 44.9. In fact, uh, Lake Corpus Christi has risen anywhere between about 3 to 4% in just about a week or so. So that is some fantastic news. Choke Canyon Reservoir at 33%. So combined capacity is at 36.5%. And again, we have a long way to go before we get out of stage one water restrictions, but it's certainly nice to see some of the lake levels rising back up just a little bit courtesy of this past weekend's uh, rainfall. And even over in Lake Texana uh, showing 100% capacity as well. So just wanted to show that a little bit of some good news this morning. Also some good news is that boy, it's actually quite cool out there this morning. We're at 60 degrees out at Corpus Christi International with mainly clear skies, light winds as well. Some folks may require a light jacket this morning. You won't need them as you go towards the afternoon. Maybe a light sweater, I should say, but still 60 degrees in May is a, certainly a treat for us here. As we look at the hour by hour forecast, we'll have a little bit of some cloud coverage to deal with for today, uh, more so than what we had yesterday, even though we had uh, quite a bit, but the sunshine broke through quite nicely. 79 at 11 o'clock, but the winds will start to increase as well, coming out of the east southeast at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. And you can see some of the cloud coverage, some high thin clouds across the area, even some low level ones will be possible as well with the high temperatures going to about 84 degrees for us here in Corpus Christi. Once again, our inland communities will still be pretty close to 90 degrees, 84 out at the Naval Air Station, Flower Bluff, and out around Aransas Pass and into Port Aransas will be into the upper 70s to lower 80. So here's the Mother's Day forecast as I see it. Hot, humid, and uh, pretty windy out there as well for the moms this weekend. South southeasterly winds 15 to 25, starting off in the middle 70s. Forget about the 60s. We'll be uh, back in the 70s with afternoon highs pretty close to 90 degrees. In fact, some of our inland locations uh, with heat index values will be around the triple digits. So you're certainly going to want to uh, stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, but enjoy as well for the moms. Marine forecast slightly choppy. The UV index will be extreme and the seas about three to six feet. So boaters, mariners use caution. High tide over at Bob Hall Pier 104, 136 out of the Port Aransas Jetty as well. Uh, 134 at Noasis Bay and then 515 out at the Packery Channel. Uh, grass is on the high end for the pollen count for today. Nothing in ragweed, moderate counts of the tree uh, pollen and mold is on the low end as well. As we look at the wind forecast breezy for today, but as we go on into Saturday and Sunday, uh, we'll look for those winds to be on the Augusti side at around 15 to 30 miles an hour. So 84 today, 86 for Saturday. Pretty hot on Mother's Day with increasing humidity all across the area. Our next opportunity for some rainfall polo will come on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. This is the Rebound Coastal Band brought to you by Conviva. Visit us at convivacarecenters.com. Well, looking good, Juan. Thank you for that. If you're looking for work, well, Circle K is looking for you. They're hoping to hire employees in the Coastal Bend. The event happening at 9517 South Padre Island Drive from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Now the company is looking to fill part-time, full-time and overnight positions. The hiring event is open to everyone. 